Did you hear? We got e-bikes. And one of the biggest questions we get about our e-bikes, because we drive old Class C here, is how you're going to carry them. How you're going to transport them to get them where you want them to be. So we're going to show you. Don't go away. So, late last year, Lynn and I both got e-bikes. They're the electric XP Step Through. They are great bikes. But as Lynn said, we get asked a lot, how are we going to carry those things around in Frida, our Forest River Class C? In case you haven't guessed yet, I'm Lynn. And I'm Danny, and welcome to RV America. We want to tell you today how we are going to manage to carry our e-bikes with us on our Class C. These bikes are heavy. Ours weigh 62 pounds a piece. 62 pounds a piece. 62 pounds a piece. A regular bike rack, we would be leaving them laying on the road somewhere and that would make me very sad. Right. So not only does your bike rack need to be e-bike approved, it needs to be RV approved because there's a lot of bouncing back here on these hitches mm -hmm. and these bumpers and you need to make sure you've got the right ones. Okay, so what we got was the Swagman E-Spec. And what you need to know about that is it's a it's made for the hitch receiver and it's made for two 70 pound e-bikes and the other great thing about this rack it will fold up up against the vehicle when not in use and it has key lock cylinders which will lock your bike rack in place tomorrow tomorrow for sure uh, we've got the e-spec bike rack by swagman put together it was pretty darn simple. The instructions are straightforward. You won't have any problems with them all. Just read them. Um, and we did have to change out to the fat bike tires and uh, the one inch smaller trays came with it. So we got these uh, larger trays that fit the fat bike. And so it comes to a whole two e-bikes up to 70 pounds each. I did want to show you that uh, does fold down to get your bikes on and off. I'll Makes show you it the, easy, doesn't it? Yeah, the other locks that go with it. did want to also show you that, uh, one reason I have it down to show you that with this pin, you can pull it out and take this and get it out of your way. So that can just get it out of your way. In case you don't want to carry your bikes? Yeah. Now, one thing I do want to stress that this is RV approved. Instead of putting the pin in, they said to make it RV approved, you have to slide this bolt in. And then just tighten it down. Bella's seen other puppies in the park, so you're going to hear her in the background. So the, the bag that you'll get in the, the box will say RV hardware and you need to do that. I'm sure that helps with the uh, where the RV uh, wheelbase is a lot longer. It's going to have that will help it have less bouncing and therefore make it RV approved. So it does come with uh, two uh, brackets to lock your bikes into place, one on each side. And to hold them steady. To hold them steady. It, it says to put the... Uh, Longer one on first and this one on second. I'm, I'm gonna try them either way because we've got step throughs. It, it, uh, when I put them on a minute ago, it didn't tighten down on one side. I did want to point out that each of these can be locked. So you have the safety of this being able to be locked. And also that the, uh, to the receiver pin can be locked. Swagman gives you three ways to, to, to lock. So how you take one of those off? It just slides up and off. You just makes it easy to take the bikes off that way. Yeah. So nor normally when you're going to put it up, go ahead and raise your uh, upright down. That way you can just put the bikes over. Jeff's going to help me put it on there. Fairly easy task. Oh, you got to raise up the bar. Man. Thank you. So. You might note that you had already adjusted those uh, wheel holders to fit. Yes. Good point. Like this one needs to come back a little bit. Yeah, I'll move that one back. 
maybe moved it when he was. Yeah. So what you see Jeff doing is loosening these uh, handles up, and we're gonna move the tray back. And the next thing we're doing, I've already done the front. Just putting the straps through. So now I'm going to put on the short uh, and it's going to lock that into place just like that and you see they got the key right here we can lock it down so it's got this pretty pretty darn steady and we'll do the same thing with lens bike so we've got the lens bike the second uh, bike up and as you can see we got it strapped down with the, the fat tire trays those just pull tight and hold your bike pretty good. But what we're going to do is put the locks on. These hooks will hook it in. It mentions sometimes you're going to use these backwards. It said the small one first in the book, but if it doesn't hold, you can do them backwards. I am doing it backwards. So this will come down and hold her bike in place. See, as you can see, it is very, very sturdy. And then we'll take the second lock. And it locks it in place, so we've got both pretty sturdy. And I followed Lynn as she was driving, and these this rack did not bounce much. It did not not have an issue with uh, any kind of sway. It surprised me on how sturdy it was. But the uh, Swagman, uh, we'll put a link down below. A lot of y'all have asked about uh, what rack we we're going to use, and we did get this in and wanted to put it together. As I said, very simple to put together very sturdy and we're very very happy with it uh, just make sure you use that RV hardware if you use it on an RV so even though we got these two locks on here we are going to use our u-bolt locks to help secure this also with the two cables each one came with a cable so we'll be able to strap strap these in we want to try to discourage anybody from doing anything with them and uh, if you remember one thing about the electric e-bikes if we're going to be gone for quite a while we can fold these down and they'll fit right inside the RV they're, they're foldable e-bikes We'll link that video that shows that shows a little bit of that up above. So Danny, now we're ready to take off. Yep, we've got them hooked up. As y'all know, we are not using a tow vehicle at this time. We wanted to take the first year. Uh, just seeing how it'd be just traveling around the RV parts on the electric e-bikes. And with Lynn's basket and uh, the saddlebags that we got, we'll post those videos of some accessories that we, we have. Uh, so we want to use these around around town. They go up to 28 miles per hour, and we just wanted a secure way to, to carry these behind the, the RV. And like I said, I followed her, and this thing was amazing how sturdy it was following her uh, for the hour and a half drive. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And hit that notification bell, because we've got several great videos coming out, and you're not going to want to miss those. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos, and share them with a friend. That's right. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.